super devastated. Um, I knew something was wrong as soon as it happened. Um, you know, when you just lose your um, ability to walk. That's a big eye opener for you. Um, but I also saw how, saw how my community um, had kind of wrapped their arms around me at the time and it was very positive in a dark, at a dark time. And I really never knew that I was really super affected by it until looking at it now. Like, wow, I was very sad. It was hard to get out of bed because I couldn't do something that I actually loved. I did play the violin growing up. Um, one of those things I wish I continued to do. However, basketball is very time consuming, kind of took over my life at a point. I really want to be drafted to the WNBA. Like, that's just like a huge goal. Like, that's something that I've said as a little kid. You know, they ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? A WNBA player. <laughs> Going back and looking at old pictures definitely reminded me like, wow, this is my last time here that I'll be able to put on this jersey, be in, have a feel for this court. Um, so it was kind of sad for me to think about. Um, to see how excited I get after I make a basket, um, it just makes me fall in love with basketball all over again.